So, welcome to the current episode. This is what we will achieve today. So, our character is holding a weapon and we can switch the weapon and the animation is beautiful. So, uh, we can switch, we can even shoot. We have a little bit of a recoil and we can walk. And while we're walking or while we're standing, we can change the weapon. And we have this beautiful level. This is the complete content of the current episode, so let's go. Okay, to build the level, we first of all go to component, no window, package manager, and make sure to go to all packages. And then we need the pro builder because this is how I will create my level. So you go to tools, pro builder, pro builder window, and then you just drag it here. And then you can add a new shape. So for example, this one is pretty big. So 10 times 10, 10 looks better, 20, 20, oh, maybe 20, 30. This looks okay. Um, let's check the height. It's okay. Uh, the cube is okay. Let's build it. Okay. And that's the way how to build it. And I guess this is the only shape now. And now we need walls. Now we can select it here and we can edit this uh, either here, vertex selection, add selection, or the complete face selection. And with this red buttons here, you can uh, change something. For example, uh, we can go up, extrude the face and um, scale it a little bit here, a little bit there. And now go down again. And then extrude the faces again and go all the way down until we see our character again. Where is he? Oh, he just hides inside the wall. So we go back to object selection and make sure that he is visible. There he is. So perfect. This is it. This is what it looks like. So, and we can really manipulate everything we want. For example, uh, if we select this fa face, this face, and this face, we can extrude it like this one. So now it's bigger, brighter, and nicer. Uh, we can also select the face, subdivide it, uh, select this again, subdivide it again, select the edges here, go here. Um, Face selection, select these faces here and just say, okay, no, let's extrude it. And there we go. And we slowly build our level. So after a while you get something done, uh, which is good for prototyping or block some levels out and we can add meshes later. So um, now we need some kind of a character controller. And you bet, yes, there's a tutorial out there that I already created. So uh, here it is. Um, so basically you can switch between all the parts. I put your link down in the description or you just Google it or type it into the search bar, FPS and third person explained in Unity. And in the links there are two different um, scripts. The one is for the player. So just apply the transform motion. And the other one is for the controller that we have a third person controller or maybe a first person controller. You can switch between these. Um, I will just copy and paste them in and apply them to our character. Next up, uh, I will add the player script and the controller script to my character. As a camera pivot, I will use zero, two, and distance two. Okay. One thing is missing is a rigid body and the capsule collider. We will freeze the rotation around the X axis and we will edit the collider because it's not quite right. Uh, hard to see due to the post processing. You can always turn them off by just uh, clicking here. And there we go. Directional light intensity five. And now we should be able to 
edit everything a little bit easier. Um, these were the default settings of the lightweight render pipeline. Make sure to um, have this the other way around. The rotation should be freezed on X and Z. Okay, we can already uh, move around. It doesn't look right, yes, but the animation is missing. That's the only thing that is missing to complete our level design and um, therefore we have a look at the player and the controller. So I changed the controller. I get rid of everything that has to do with this mobile input thing. If you are interested in making this a mobile game or something like that, you just have to follow the tutorial. Search for um, the fifth part of the series and there you go. So um, you ha just have to watch this and then you, you can integrate it into this project i won't do it but in general um to make it a desktop game i just added these two lines so the mouse input is just uh, get access for mouse x mouse y i will lock the cursor inside the window and here the input rotation i set the mouse input and here the mouse input and deleted here some things but in general um it will check for the input let the character move forward or backward update the look rotation and set the player values this is a controller and here's the player it's just nothing it's just um creating a vector out of the input vectors and update the rigid body velocity and set the look rotation okay and now we have to merge these two scripts here the test script is still there um, and I would recommend it to set it on the player. So we just copy this everything here. Um, maybe down here. And we will just copy everything here. Or maybe mm, we don't need this, this these values anymore because these were only for test purposes. Yes, we need the game object, but we do not need these test values anymore we will fill them with life now okay the awake message should be added by these few things here and then we copy the update here let's add meaning to it so now we can delete this test delete it get rid of it we have everything we need okay some errors are coming up yes because the speed forward is not there anymore we set it uh, with the editor but we can uh, just get it by saying uh, rigid body or maybe vector 3 project project one vector to another so the current vector is rigid body velocity and the other vector is uh, transform forward so we just transform it and then we uh, want to have the magnitude. That's all. So, and we do the same for uh, left or right. Only one is available. Yes, right. Okay, shooting. Hmm. Okay, if uh, input get Unity Engine, input get mouse button down zero, then we want to activate the trigger. And maybe we want something like Unity Engine, input get key down, key code 1, we switch the weapon, we do not need this, and the same goes for Alpha 2. Just switch the weapon by pressing 1 or 2, and that should be it. The only thing that is missing is this switch thing. Um, we have to change test interchange it with with player so just search for test change it with player there we go normally you can fetch the um the reference once uh, so you're faster uh, i won't do this because here you really can't see what is happening normally you can just um grab it uh, on the first call of either these or these but this would make the code a little bit messy i would leave it like that it's me from the future again and you will see the end cut in a few seconds where I say that the animation looks a little bit off. And the reason for this is that I didn't set the speed forward and sideward correct. So I even cut out a thing where I explained the whole projection thing but it turns out to be not quite right.
So what is better to have the character velocity in the character space? So what does it mean? For example, we have the character here. Uh, the nose is pointing forward. And um, now the Unity engine says, okay, the velocity going here. So this means the velocity is about um, x1, y0, z1. So because here this is a coordinate system. But um, this is not quite right from the character perspective. The velocity is more like x1, y1, 0, 1, because it's, it's just pointing in this direction here. So how you do, do you transfer such a vector in the character space? It's pretty straightforward. It just takes the inverse of the rotation. So you rotate it back to the character um, space. So I just grab the velocity and say, okay, rotate it by the current transform rotation. And then you get the character velocity. And this is, for example, forward if the character moves forward. So in forward is the z value. You can just say character velocity z is the speed value forward. And the same is, uh, applies for sideward. Um, and I multiply it by a factor for the, the sign of the um, going forward vector. Um, because uh, imagine you are walking in this direction. Then you are definitely positive and here you are negative. And if you're walking here, you want to play the animation backwards. Um, it looks better. So I inverse the um, animation here, but I don't want to uh, change it directly when we just move sidewards. And uh, then the velocity is zero and I want to have it positive. So I added a small fraction. So this is only a small bug fix here or make the animation nicer. The basic is takes the z direction as a forward and the x direction as a sideward value and always transform the rigid body velocity into the local space and you're good to go. And that's it. We built our level so we can walk. Uh, it looks really stupid if you do not have any weapon in your hand. You're, you press the one, so you have this weapon, you press two, you switch the weapon, looks perfect. So. Um, maybe we can rotate the character a little bit because it looks a little bit strange, but that's basically it. So we built our level, uh, we can navigate and we can shoot. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.